Hey, it's Ken Gagney with the YouTube channel Game It's Continue my let's play of The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past for the Super Nintendo, played here on the Wii U. I'm about to enter the Desert Palace. This is video 5 in the series. Let's find out what's inside. And my map for this room is a giant square with a door to the east, seemingly. Oh, multiple hits. Interesting. Oh, and that guy can see me, and I can go this way, but that is a dead end. So let's go this way and hope this guy doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. Good. I do not wish to be seen. Sandpit. Sarlacc. Landshark. Ow! Quit it. Ah! Okay, lots of baddies here. Oh, and this takes me outside. Can I get back inside from this? Nope. So if I want to leave the level entirely, that is the way I would go. Do I want to leave the level entirely? No, I just got here. Alright, need a key for that locked door. Do not have a key. Cannot open the locked door. Okay, killed all those without taking a hit. This is a nice change. I've not been performing my best today. Full health, this is a good thing. Oh, now I'm trapped. Ah, using the, te the technique handed down by our people. Let's try this door. Oh, another one of those things. More easily defeated with bow and arrow. But let's start with the lantern. Not as a weapon, but as to light these. That's it? I thought something would happen. Huh. Okay. And given that the room was already pretty well lit, I thought the lanterns might serve some significance other than lighting the room. Oh, well, there's that. Map! So we got three floors. I'm in the basement. Goes up to the second floor. Alright. Continuing on Link's harrowing quest, he continues deeper into the Desert Palace. Uh, let's see. Check the map. Should I go north or west? North, because that's a dead end. Oh, one of those telepathic tiles. Sarsaparilla! You must never fail to find all the treasures in each dungeon. That's why, even though I have the map, I still go everywhere. Because I don't want to miss a thing. And I don't want to miss a thing. Yeah, just like that. Stab me in the back, will you? Haha! -ha. Switch back to my uh, boomerang. Okay, got those guys out of my way. Huh, the green and the purple both take only two hits. Just seems that one moves maybe slightly faster than the other. Okay, so this is how I go get that heart piece that I spotted in my previous video. As I was doing a perimeter search. There it is. And I'll just... Oh, Vulture, I was ready to leave you to just hang out there. But no, you had to activate, didn't you? Can't go that way. Not without something with which to lift those rocks. So I guess I'll go back the way I came. And hope that lighting these torches provides me with an escape from this room. No. But that will do it. Hey! Alright, I already have full health and a bottled fairy. And a bottled bee. I don't remember what to do with that. I'm probably going to end up holding on to it. I always hold on to stuff longer than I need to. Like Skyward Sword, I think I had like some some powdered magical jelly slime in my bottle all the way up until the end of the game when I finally fought the final boss. And that was the first time I died, was fighting the final boss. So I went back and I filled up all my bottles with the most powerful magic potions I could find, and I defeated him on the very next try. So as long as I was well equipped, it wasn't really all that hard. Look at all the money. Oh my goodness. Don't have a big key. But I do have a torch. And that did me no good. Let's check the map. 
Okay, there's some rooms on the east side of the temple that I have yet to explore. Let's switch back to something actually useful in more circumstances. That being not my torch, but my little, little boomerang. Only goes a little ways, and then it comes right back. Ow! Quit it! Quit it! I'll leave the rest of you to live. Tell your friends about me. Stay away from me. Oh, that room that I haven't examined yet is one that requires a key. That's why I haven't been there yet. So what am I doing? How do I... How do I go somewhere I haven't been yet? You gotta find me a key. Not gonna find it by killing these guys, I think. Alright, let's take another look in the main room here. Nine more rupees, and I... Ow! You made me drop my pot. Dude, I worked really hard on that in pottery class. I was gonna bring it home and show it to mom. Oh, wait, I don't have a mom. I just have an uncle, and now he's dead. Ow! I think I would have seen that one coming. Okay, I can't find a key to save my life. Where is there a key in this dungeon? I already killed these guys once. Oh, missed. Oh, get out of my way, little dude. There we go. I do want to kill you, but not right away. I want to kill you now. At least not with a pot, that was my point. Okay, looking for a key. Looking for a key. Also, if I... Wait a sec. If I leave the dungeon via this eastern exit that I found earlier, how do I get back in? Because those things... I moved those things to get in. Now they're blocking the way in. So if I jump down here... Oh, I need to pray again? Every time? Okay. I'm pretty sure I don't find a key outside the dungeon. And usually you find everything you need in a dungeon. So I need to re-wish to get in. But I can just jam a button and speed up that process. Switch back to my boomerang. Actually, let's switch back to my ice wand. There. That guy was bugging me. There. He was a cold stiff. Alright, let's head back in here and look really hard to find a key. Maybe I need to kill all these things. Maybe not. Ah! This thing. It's bugging me. If I was a key, where would I be? If I was a bear, what would I wear? Oak. Killing all the things here. Knock, knock. Let me in. Nope, not here. Get rid of him. This room, they trap me in here. I would think there would be a key in here. That seems like the kind of room that they would lock you in and then give you a key as a reward. I can only hold one more rupee, guys. You gotta give me something else to hold. How about a key? That's oh, there it is. Duh. Boink. Kind of blended in with the flame a little bit. Same general warmth of color. 
Okay, now I have what I need. Sorry it took so long. This is what happens when you're playing a game decades later from memory. Looking for a big key somewhere around here. Money. And now I have full rupees. Can't take any more. Gotta find a way to spend them. Oh! Ouch. Okay, I got the compass and the big key. Dang! Maybe I should slow down and take my time trying to time it. Or I can just run and take the hit. Meh. It all ends up in the same place. My belly. Almost there, Link. Almost there. Oh, where's that switch? There it is. Alright, let's grab this. Finally! Power glove! I can pick up and carry stones. Because, there, you know, there's no way Link could ever learn to do that without a magical artifact. He couldn't just train or even lift. No. Okay, this opens up a lot of potential. Now I can, open, I can go a lot of places I couldn't before. My next video that shows everything between this dungeon and the next one, it's going to be a long video. But there's a lot I can do now. Whoops. That's not even the way I want to go. Why did I do that? Okay, here we go. Now I can pick these up. Briefly take a look at... Nope, nothing over there. Okay. But now this is where the rest of the dungeon is. So here I am, finally, on the first floor. Have not been here yet. There we go. Stairway up. Got the key. You know what? I don't have to destroy all these things, but I'm going to. I like seeing what pattern that they, they create as they come up from the floor. Is it going to be symmetrical? Is it going to look like somebody? I also just like having my sword ready and just kind of fly right into it. See if I can predict the pattern where the next one's going to be. Huh. It's a space invader. Or the Prince of Lies. Well, not that prince. This is not a religious game. I mean Ganon, of course. Up we go! 2F, or not 2F, that is the question. Squids. If I actually saw these things in real life, I'd probably freak the F out. They look terrifying. Alright, let's kill everything and then come back and light the torches. Or is it torches? Ow. Whoa. These guys mean business. Why am I even bothering to collect all that money? I can't hold anymore. Oh, a key. I probably don't even need to light the torches, do I? Nope. Completely unnecessary. So glad I did that. Another one? Man, if I'd known I'd have to do it later, I would have just amused myself by doing it in this room. Still, since I'm so low on hearts, let's see if I can pick up something by destroying these guys. Even though I do now already have the key. I kind of forgotten that you have to destroy. Oops. You have to pick up all these pots. That essential mission critical. Crap! Good thing I have a fairy. Do I need to have it equipped, though? Yeah, no. Okay. Don't remember if that counts against my death count. I did accidentally die in Kakariko Village of all places earlier. This is not supposed to be a perfect run anyway. It'd be funny if that ends up being my only death. But I'm probably not going to finish the game in one sitting anyway, which is necessary to get a perfect run, which I've done before. Go back to my first video in this series and you'll see the proof. 
there. Finally, I get to use my lantern to light all the torches. Because if you look at the map, there's more to this room to the left. After this video, I might need to pause because my gamepad is running out of charge. I've been playing this game for about two hours straight, and it needs to recharge. And as do I, actually. I should probably go to dinner or something. Okay, I got some giant worms here, and I've done no damage to any of them. I also have no fairy, so if I die in here, that is it. I'm already one-sixth dead. Ah! They throw things at a 45 degree angle and they emerge, so I need to be at a 90 degree angle. Dang, missed them all. Okay, I got some good hits in there, not getting hit myself. That's the key. Ooh, that was bad. Ooh! Taking more damage than I want to. Oh. Dang! Will one of you please die? Thank you. I need something to show for all that effort. Okay, got another good hit in. Oh no! Jeez, I feel like I've done a lot of damage. Hmm. Ah, this wouldn't be so tense if I was better at this game. Why aren't they dying? No! Crap. <sighs> Alright, let's get back there quickly. Okay, let's try this again. I have no fairies and full health. Oh, that guy didn't stay out for long. Okay, getting some good hits in here. I wish I knew how many hit points they actually had. Make me feel better about predicting when they'll die. There's one, which is as far as I got last time, regarding their, their binary states of these worms, not how damaged they were, just whether they were alive or dead. Uh oh, right in the middle. Alright, got two. I'm taking a lot fewer hits this time, too. What's up with that? 
Ah. Depth perception issues. Gotcha. I don't know why it wasn't that good the first time. Well, the first time gave me practice for the second. Excellent. So I now have another pendant. And the power glove. It's so bad. Which means I can pick up a lot of rocks and I can learn new skills and go places. But in the meantime, I'm going to take a quick break. So that is the end of this Let's Play video. Stay tuned to YouTube channel Game as I continue to play The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past.